Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Back to the Future, the game. So, last episode we started episode 4 of the game, uh, which always gets confusing to be recording episodes of an episodic game. We are trying to save Doc Brown from Edna. We figured out how to let break out of our uh, captivity and... Then we figured out how to get a pacification pill, whatever that is. And we're going to stick it in the guard's soda right now and see if we can pacify him. Use this pill in the soda. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? <laughs> uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. You know what? Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. I can't believe people always fall for this. It's funny in this ridiculousness. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Yo, God! Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you! As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? I'm hmm. sorry about the discomfort, my love, but it's really all So we gotta best. figure out the control panel here. Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Okay, so we have optics, uh, volume, tactile, gastro, gastrosensory, and olfactory. Oh. So these switches aren't the off switches. If this is the volume, we can make him. Let's see. Let's start with olfactory. Olfactory? I think I know what that means. <laughs> what the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. Hmm. So... I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't oh. think that in a few more hours. I right know. Please, think about the consequences of your actions. Me? You're the one threatening volume. Let's turn up the Finally, volume. a word I can understand. That helmet looks a lot like... Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Let's see. Tactile. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, uh, sorry. Uh... Where's Martin? Don't worry. Gastrosensory? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Optics? Okay, let's turn the olfactory down. Hmm, it's jammed. When did I lose? I'll get him a burger later. I am not doing that again. Okay, we've got everything set at high. Hmm. Let's turn the volume down. 
and then the optics down. And the smell down. Hmm. It's stuck. It's jammed. You'll never get away with this. Is it I... just that we turn the volume up? I guess the speakers won't push him any further until I hook it up to a really big sound. Okay, I've got this. So we got... we need to... use the guitar... with the... speakers. Guards! Arrest this woman! They won't listen to you, Emmett! Everyone here has been trained. We've got a microphone and let's see. So we will use our guitar again. We're kind of overusing the guitar here with the microphone. was that? You! What are you doing? Get my friend out of here, you nutcase. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. <laughs> Whoa. a lot easier than I thought and you'd think right there would be a perfect time to introduce an Omega One priority alert. like an intro sequence Potentially disruptive nonconformists are loose in the courthouse please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved have a nice day where'd the dog go? What was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She can give us away. Hmm. Why'd you marry? No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's she's kind of crazy. Yes, now, but back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. Hmm. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. All right, Dad. Where is, Where the, is DeLorean? the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. Hmm. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go. Yeah. Fix why? The why are they making me? I'm afraid me... I'll have to do that without you, Martin. Watch what? that. Why? 
Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? Mm. We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? Well, we finally got to do something with the cycling. He's not okay. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. You inspired yeah, you've inspired him, him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past. Amazing. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Ouch! Fine! Leave! Circuit set for August 26, 1931. Like you ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Hill Valley, next four exit. Must not be a huge city if it only spans four exits. Of course, the exits can be very far apart. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Oh, luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there... I mean, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. What about it? What about it? 
I haven't thought about this place for years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. Mm -hmm. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow belly stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. That's the problem. That's what caused the whole problem, remember? We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain. Having lived in it for the past 70 plus years, once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to... Go oh. inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It can cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. So, young Emmett now, we gotta convince him now that we're back in 31 again to go see Frankenstein Sonny you do show up at the oddest moments where have you been hiding in a mental reconditioning facility in the dystopia you created in 1986 Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Ed? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Trust the first impression. Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, sure. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've <laughs> junked a rocket car. But more trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Social utility? Boy, she should have changed his mind in what seems like one night. You'll figure it out, Emmett. You only need a bolt of inspiration, that's all. Maybe if you went to a... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Crockett. October 12th. Doc? We went to the wrong time again. Which actually probably saves some trouble. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. 
Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Oh, oh, oh worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? <laughs> For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of... Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. <laughs> so we gotta convince Edna now to dump him. Interesting, and we are going to a new area, which is cool. We don't have to walk around the main square of the city. Hopefully for it very much. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh! I'll talk to her. <laughs> you better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All Car of the Future contestants need to report to the North Tent. Why not? Why not? Because that's how you change the timeline. Man, you have to be so paranoid if you're gonna do time travel. Way more paranoid than these people think. So that gives us the tip off that when we get back to 1986 next, uh, the future will probably be all flying cars and advanced technology, which might not be too bad. Hey, Artie. Officer. Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Talk to Edna. Spell it B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Crockett! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? Breaking up you and him. I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. <laughs> Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing Doesn't people from accomplishing their business. They Honestly, with him off. keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh, Have you seen Emmett? Yes. Yeah, just now, in the town square. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him. So oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. What attracts you to him? I don't get it. I mean, Emmett's nice and all, but he's not exactly the kind of guy that has girls swarming all over him. Well, I'm not your average girl. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Crockett, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes She's with clown, someone. which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Hmm. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. 
Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. So right now it looks like he's not even going to get in the area, in the competition at all. Oh, here's his truck. Not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Hmm. So... Maybe we can read this. The front door. Let's walk in the front door. See if we can do that. Hmm. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Anybody without <laughs> official business here, please get off the grounds! It's bad when you repeat when you do the same dialogue choice. But it is much worse when they say the same thing twice when you do two different things. So we're stuck in this area. We've got to figure out how to accomplish something. And that's as good of a place as any to end this episode. As always, I ask that you like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media site, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.